Come on, girl. Come on. Come on, Eleanor. Hey guys, Dusty Baker across the Rooms Bison. Welcome back to the channel. Catching a good evening sunset. Today we had Brooks's birthday party and uh, it's been a busy day, but uh, we're out of hay at um, the original place where Dunbar and um, Eleanor are, the rest of the herd. I'm gonna load up some hay and um, with the skid steer and get it ready to go in the morning and we're gonna go check the Dunbar herd and take them some more hay. There is a, another snowstorm coming in and uh, we're out of hay over there anyway, so I might as well take a load. I'm gonna use this, uh, my neighbor's 20 foot utility trailer here to haul hay on across town and, and get it to them. So also, you guys let me know what you think. Check it out, what I just put up here. A little CTV right there for you. That is the, uh, if you guys haven't figured that out, we've got some shirts and whatnot out of the CTV. That is just the logo for this ranch, Cross Timbers Bison Ranch. My original logo has not changed, but that is the logo, new fresh logo for the Ponderosa, if you want to call it. <laughs> so anyways, I'm going to hop in the skids here and get these uh, hay bales loaded up. As you can tell, it's a little late. <laughs> Good timing as far as Kevin's showing up. So, um, no, you guys can hardly see me. Camera's 
not real great at night but anyways good timing as you saw kevin showed up at the right time because uh that's the uh that's our single bill hauler i've had that since i first started raising bison it's one of the first pieces of equipment i bought um and it uh has a crank on it you know but um it's broke since then so kevin uses to come along but kevin showed up and so that's uh that's how we load if uh, he can catch me while i'm on the skid steer that's how we load the single bill hauler and he takes over there so we'll get one two three we got four and then the fifth bale uh over there just for some more hay so we're getting low we, that's about all we have is over there uh looks like i'll go to about six or so and then i've got some left in the barn so it looks like we'll be uh buying some hay depending on how long winter goes so that's part of it you think you got enough and you just don't and uh, of course i bought some more animals uh since i bought hay over the summer and um we need more hay now more than likely so you just never know with our winners but anyways gonna head over to the original place um in the morning so i'll catch you guys in the morning because it is late and it's dark and i want to go home so um also before i, I end tonight i want to give a shout out to a friend of mine um his name is mike he's a fireman um outside of denver colorado colorado springs area Mike got in connection with me a long time ago to a, a, a friend of mine from my hometown here in Sulphur. Just a small world, kind of one of those things. And Mike and I, I've been trying to help Mike and we've been chatting probably at least once a week um, for, a, for, for about a year. And um, he bought some bison and he just now got them. And he's got he's got a, a property just outside of Colorado Springs, and he just got his bison yesterday, and uh, it's been it's been fun and exciting. Uh, of course, he watched some of my videos, and we've been talking since then. And I've tried to help him when going back and forth on stuff, ideas, and finally meet him at the National Bison Conference um, in Denver a couple weeks ago. It's nice to finally meet him. So we've kept up for a long time, and I just want to give a shout out to him. Um, he is one of the young guys. I say young, he's, I think he's about my age or so, that has started off from scratch, bought his land, built, it was just an open plains pasture, had some fencing, had a pond, and has built from ground up bison ranch, up, and I love that. He's done it with the help of his dad and a couple of friends, and um, he's built the facility, the handling system, and everything, fencing, um, and so Mike is a good example of what we need more of and uh i hope my videos help people like that and um i just want to give a shout out to him and it's uh, been fun following him along talking back and forth and finally he got his animals yesterday and um i'm excited for him go mike keep it going man good luck with all your bison and uh you're a good friend and it's been uh it's been fun keeping up with you. Now we uh, just got lots of memories to share and hopefully hopefully you settled down and so have the calves and um, <laughs> the real work starts now. <laughs> Good luck, buddy. Got our hay hauled. Had the last one strapped, but we are here. There's Mr. Lumpy. Hey guys, we are at the original farm. I've got my little helper. She's with me in the truck hanging out, but um, I'm gonna unstrap this. I'm gonna leave this trailer here and um, Kevin's gonna unload them one at a time uh, later when he shows up. We're gonna hang out a little bit. We're gonna go check the big herd. So we're gonna take you down to see Dunbar and all them. Check those guys out. What are you doing back there? Give me that chapstick. There we go. It's 
Say hi, Dunbar. Everybody else is over here. <laughs> Occupied. Got our beauty queen over here. What do you think? Hey, you better stay up. Hey, Eleanor. There you go. Cheers. You want some cubes? No. <laughs> okay. You want to feed them some cubes? Throw it out there. Throw it. There you go. Good job. <laughs> Throw it. Throw it far. Throw it way out there. Why? Why? Huh? Or follow us over to the other side. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on, Eleanor. Look who's smart and followed us. Eleanor! Hey! You're the only one over here now. All those cute trees. Everybody else is across the fence. Ha! Are you there? Eleanor's got it figured out. Let's look in here and see if our looky there. They survived. Got one. Two. Got two goldfish, guys. They have survived the winters. What do you guys want? Hey, I fed y'all. You guys got cubes. Our goldfish have survived the cold conditions. Well, it's nice to get over here. Oh, it's always good to see my original herd and hang out with uh, some of the very first animals I started with. And um, Eleanor, Peaches, Bell Star, Dunbar. Those are my original ones that I started off with and uh, I love spending time with them. But um, I haven't got to spend as much time with them as I wanted to because I'm doing all the work on the Ponderosa. But um, in the future, something to think about is we may bring some of these animals over there to the Ponderosa. And um, just because there's more ground over there, there's some more grass, um, in the future we may be able to do that. So we'll keep you updated with that. Nothing right now because it, the grass is dormant. It's not uh, the growing season yet, so not grazing season, but um, I'm anxious to see uh, who's pregnant out of here. Uh, hopefully, you know, you want them all to be pregnant, but sometimes it just doesn't always work out that way. Um, but um, in the future, we're gonna really try to work and strive for that to be, to be better and be more consistent. Good to hang out with our little princess here, uh, Eleanor. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video 
and uh, thank you guys for following us along we appreciate all the positive comments and stuff guys again shout out to mike uh, and thank you for your service and being a fireman um you, that's a wild job man and we appreciate what you do and we can't thank you you and your buddies enough for what you do so thank you mike for that and it's been a it's been a joy uh being a part of this with you and you finally got your first bison so um, i'm happy for you man and uh just thank you guys for watching us and um, if you're ever interested in raising bison email me you reach out to us reach out to the nba the national bison association it's always in my link if you're ever interested in raising bison thank you guys we'll see you next time